Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how we can move beyond the common functions that we use every day. The sum function, or the average function, or the count function. We're going to learn a new function called SUMIF. Here's how SUMIF works. Instead of just summing the entire range of values, we tell Excel to give us a sum of the values that match our criteria or meet our criteria. In this case, those values that are greater than 500. So produce only a tally or a sum of those values that are greater than 500. Let's employ sum if. Equal sum if and the left parentheses. This brings up our help guide over here. SUMIF requires three arguments, the range of values, the criteria, in this case greater than 500, and then optionally the range to be summed, meaning if we don't supply that third argument, it will sum our range. All right, let's follow the wizard to supply the arguments. Our range are the values in column C, the criteria, let's type in our criteria, greater than 500. And then the range to be summed. If I don't supply this, it's going to come back and sum the range that we were evaluating. Click OK. And now when we double click in the cell, we'll see that equal sum if the range of values C2 through C8 are criteria. Notice this. Notice that when we use the wizard, the wizard enclosed our criteria inside quotation marks. So we have quotation mark greater than 500 quotation mark. And then the value to be summed, the range, which was the same as our initial range. OK, it's that simple. Let's apply this to a different criteria the cells in column C that meet this criteria, less than 300. Equal sum if, left parentheses, and let's go up and use the wizard. The range, C2 through C8, the criteria, type it in, less than 300. Notice that Excel's wizard supplied the quotation marks, and then the range to be summed, and click OK. There you have it. Now let's apply this to our sales database over here. I've already uh, done one sum if function over here. I've said sum if the values in column F in the field which is the percentage of quota reached. So inside that range the criteria that I established was less than or equal to 50 percent and then the range that I wanted summed was not the range that enclosed the criteria, that included the criteria. Rather, I want to sum this field, the field of the dollar amount needed to reach the quota. So let's do this for this criteria, less than or equal to 25%. Equal sum if, left parentheses, follow the function wizard. OK, for our range, it's going to be column F. We'll just select all the values in column F. And now the criteria, let's type this in, less than or equal to 25%. And notice that Excel included the criteria within quotation marks. And then the range to be evaluated is going to be column E. Column E is the field which is the amount that's needed to reach the quota. And there is our wizard and there is our result. Sum if the values in column F that match or meet this criteria less than or equal to 25 percent and then what I want summed is this range of values, the amount needed to reach the quota. It's really that simple. Sum if is a very powerful function. Experiment with it and we will see you in our next edition of Tips and Time Savers.